Like they say shit like that. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing how they even sell that many fucking copies when you talk sh that much shit. So what up guys, um, I'm back with another video and today I want to talk about Anthem. I know some of you guys know that game, it's uh, EA's upcoming title. And uh, today I want to go over the four reasons why I think this game's gonna fucking suck. I think this game's gonna just bomb, I think it's gonna tank. I mean it's gonna, uh, it might sell a good amount because it's EA and they have like such a huge platform, but I just think that, I don't think the community's gonna follow through with it, I think it's gonna be disappointing. As far as uh, EA standards go, starting at number four, um, I think I think this game looks a lot like Destiny. You know what I mean? I just, I I feel like it's Destiny in third person. Like I've been watching the trailers for it and the way the classes are. I mean, you have like in Destiny, you have the soldier, you have the oh fuck the uh, I think it's called the warlock. I want to say, <clears throat> which is like the magic user. And then you have like the assassin, or whatever. Uh, or sharpshooter, I think that's what it is called, a sharpshooter. And in Anthem, you have four classes, but one of them is like a soldier, it's like a tank, it's like the heavy one. One of them does like magic, like it floats around and shit like that. It reminds me of the Warlock in Destiny. Um, and then there's another one that's more sleek, you know, and it runs around and it, that reminds me of the sharpshooter. Like it just seems like the same scheme, you know what I mean? It seems like the same scheme. It feels like EA took a look at what they were doing over there at Activision, Bungie, and was like, well, this is making a whole bunch of money, and it's a multiplayer-only thing, so, you know, we can get on it. Um, so, I just think, yeah, I just... It's like third-person Destiny. That's what it seems like. I mean, it looks... The graphics look great, you know? Don't get me wrong. The graphics look great. Um, the map is definitely different. How you go about actually playing the game is seems to be pretty different, but... I don't know, I'm looking at a lot of bullet sponges, I'll tell you that much. I'm looking at a lot of bullet sponges when I look at the screen. It's like, I, I see numbers flying around, I see people shooting the shit out of stuff, it's like... It, it really reminds me of Destiny. I played the, the first Destiny quite a bit. Um, I didn't get into Destiny 2, but... Like I said, I don't know. I, I think that's one of the reasons why it's not gonna do as well as, um... As EA thinks it's gonna be. Uh, and... Number three, third reason why... I think this game is going to tank or just not do as well is because I think this game is kind of going to be like a soulless title, if that makes any sense. Like, I feel like it's going to be, it's going to be so multiplayer focused that it's going to sacrifice so many elements of the story that people really want to enjoy. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be one of those, you get online with your friends. If you're not playing with your friends, then you might as well not play it at all. That's what it seems like to me, you know? Uh, and... I'm not into that. Like, I, I like having a single, a strong single-player story. Um, and from coming from Bioware, you know, these are the guys who made Mass Effect. Well, no, not technically they're not, really, because everybody who worked on Mass Effect, the trilogy from Bioware, is gone now. Like, they're not there anymore. It's been so many years. They're done. Like, all those, the, the talent that was there had has spread and gone elsewhere, so... It's certainly not the same fucking people. It's the same company, but EA's just milking it at this point, really. Um, milking the name, you know? They say, oh, well, Bioware's making it, so, you know, these are the guys that made this. It's like, no, the guys who really made those games that, that Bioware stands upon, those dudes are gone. So, it's not really the same. Uh, this really just seems like it's ag against, you know, what Bioware usually does, and it's just... <clears throat> it just seems like it's going to be so multiplayer-focused that the story's going to be told through, like some strings of dialogue and some little things that you pick up off the ground and stuff like that. It doesn't seem like it's going to be, um, like an actual thorough story told, you know, like it should be, or like it could be. It doesn't seem like you're going to really enjoy this game if you're playing it by yourself. You know what I mean? That's what I feel like. <clears throat> and this is all just speculation. This is all just me, you know, looking at the gameplay and, like, looking at what people think of it and, you know, I mean, it, obviously it hasn't come out yet, but... Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Number two, number two on the list as to why I think this game's gonna fucking fall flat on its face is because Bioware hasn't made a game quite like this before. You know what I mean? They're not used to making games like this. 
The last game they made was it was Mass Effect Andromeda. I'm pretty sure that had like some story elements to it. I actually bought it and I played it and I kind of regret paying full price for it because I got fucked. I really got fucked in that. Like there's no there's no reason. If you let me tell you this, if you went out and you bought Mass Effect Andromeda for $60 right when it came out, you got fucked. You remember all those those YouTube videos of people showing how the faces were all fucked up, the animations were all fucked up. It's like, yeah, that game was a piece of shit when it first came out. You really shouldn't have spent $60 on it, really. Um, but I did. I was one of those guys because it was Mass Effect. It was Mass Effect and it was Bioware, and I got sucked into the marketing. You know what I mean? Like like millions of other people. Um, that was, I think, pretty sure that was the last thing they made, and I'm not going to buy another game from them because they're not the studio that they once were. You could tell. Um, I'm not exactly sure about how the development process has been for Anthem. I mean, it could be really well. Oh, I heard that. What's her name? Anita. I can't pronounce her last. I can't even think it off the top of my head. It's a bunch of S's and E's in the fucking thing. I don't know what the hell it is. I don't know how to pronounce it. But, uh, you know, she was she was there and that caused a lot of controversy. A lot of people didn't like that. So, I mean, I don't know. I Bioware hasn't done something like this and I feel like they're treading in territory that's not them at all. Like, they're known for their single player experiences. That's what they're known for, their story, and, like, decisions that you make in the game. And then now they're just bringing us a game where I don't even know if we will be able to see the character inside the suit. Because the game is basically predicated upon you getting inside of, like, a mech. It's almost like a mech. Um, it's like some sort of power suit, basically. And you go off and you do these missions, you do these quests. And I know there's, like, a, there's like a hub you can go and you can, like, walk around and, like, you know, interact with people. And maybe... But, well... I was thinking, like, maybe then you'll be able to see who you actually are, but I heard it was first person. You know, I heard at that time, when you're in the hub, I'm pretty sure it's in first person. It's not in third person. You know, I could be wrong, but that, I mean, that's what I heard so far. Um, and if that's the case, then I, I guess I can look at other people, but I can't necessarily look at myself, you know? So I feel like we're losing more character. I just feel like this is not, not Bioware at all. At all. Like, they need to get back on that single player experience and i know ea has said multiple times that you know single player games suck they don't sell and all the money's in multiplayer but that's absolute bullshit i've never heard such horse shit before from a fucking gaming company before in my life are you fucking kidding me like really like single player games don't sell well they don't do well what about red dead redemption 2 i mean it launched yeah sure one day it will have a multiplayer to it but as of right now, it's single player, and it still sold millions of copies, and no, and everybody knew that it was going to be single player when it came out. You know what I mean? So it's like we all knew that the the multiplayer, the online aspect of the game was not going to be available at launch. We all knew that, and we still fucking bought it. You know? So, and you have Fallout seventy six, which is kind of like Bethesda doing, you know, trying new things. And again, I I, I appreciate them for for trying to do something else. You know, trying to get multiplayer into the game a little bit. But it's just funny, I mean, if you just look at it and you compare it to what EA said about how online games don't sell as much as single-player games, and then here we have a studio who focuses mainly on single-player content, trying to do online content, and they're fucking it up. They're completely just throwing that shit in the trash, and it just, it, it like I said, that game, Fallout 76, I haven't played it, I won't buy it, I won't play it, but for fuck's sake, I go on YouTube and I see all these people experiencing all these terrible glitches and just like, dumb shit that's going on in the game and it's like yeah yeah i'm not buying that get the fuck out of here get get that the fuck out of here reason number one reason number one the main reason why i think this game is not going to do well by ea standards it's because it's an ea game it's because ea is behind it and they have such a shitty reputation right now they really they've been had a bad reputation like their reputation has been shit for a while you know what I mean? But after the release of Battlefield 5 and all the flack that they caught with that game and the 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 fucking um like how they promoted it before they were like, "Oh, if you don't like it, then don't buy it." Like they say shit like that. It's fucking amazing. It's fucking amazing how they even sell that many fucking copies when you talk sh that much shit. You know what I mean? They should get an award for talking so much shit. Like it's it's ridiculous. Like if you don't like it, don't buy it. I won't fucking buy it. I won't. And I I haven't bought battlefield 5 i don't plan on it ever what the fuck like i'm not I, no it's just because it's ea they have they have such a bad reputation they constantly put money 
in front of the consumers constantly constantly i am obviously i'm a huge fan of dead space and that was an ea game and it seemed as though at that time ea seemed to have this window i think it's like during i, I want to say it's like 2006 7 8 and 9 i think it went on for about three years where they were hiring new people and they were starting up all these new ips like they were doing the uh command and conquer tiberium wars they were doing uh mirror's edge they were doing dead space like they had these new ips coming that were actually really popular and uh, they didn't really fall by the wayside. They weren't like games that EA usually treats. They weren't shitty like EA usually treats their games. They they were not like that, which is surprising. Um, so, yeah, just EA being behind the release of Anthem, I think it's just going to fucking really, really damage the sales. Like, man, they had a rocky start with Battlefield Five, And who knows if Anthem's going to come out and be totally complete. You know, you might buy that game and spend $60 on the fucking thing, and there's features in the game that aren't even done, or there's a shit ton of loot boxes about, you know, pieces of armor or color or customization that that you want to unlock, you know? It's like, all this gambling and shit, like, you can't just go out and get whatever the fuck it is you want, you have to get the money to buy the box, open up enough boxes, and hope to God whatever it is that you want is inside the box. Like, I guarantee you, I guarantee you loot boxes are going to be an anthem, I guarantee you. Um, or they're going to add them. If they said they're not going to be in them at launch, they're going to add them. They're going to add some sort of, some sort of, uh, they're going to monetize this game. It's gonna, you're going to spend money on this game after you bought it, like for DLC or something. All right, well, yeah, you know what? You know what they do? They'll probably try to preach about free DLC like they did with Battlefield Five. But again, Battlefield Five, the game's not even fucking done. It's not even done. There's so many modes on that fucking thing that aren't even completed. You can't even play when you buy it and you first install it. So I just don't see... I just... That leaves a bad taste in the mouth of the community of gamers. Like, people don't like that shit. They're not going to support that shit. I, there's a million fucking YouTubers out there right now talking so much shit to EA. A million of them. You know? It's like, you get what you deserve when you put that shit out. And it's very transparent. Like, we can tell that you're really just... It's a company that really just wants your fucking money. And I feel like this is going to rub the community the wrong way. And uh, I think it's just going to be a cookie cutter online game. That's what I think about Anthem. I think the graphics look great. I think because it's on such a high platform, it it's going to sell no matter what. Just because it's just it's going to get TV advertisement. It's gonna you're going to walk into Walmart and you're going on the side. It's going to say Anthem, buy this fucking game. You know what I mean? Like everywhere you go, Anthem this, Anthem that. You don't even have to play fucking games. You're going to know about Anthem. You know? So the the advertisement, the platform that they have is enormous. It's gigantic. Um, and, I, and, that, and that's really what drives the sales of the games, not by the way they handle their product or the way that they even talk to the consumers. Not that. That is not their business tactics. It just shuts people off and turns people away. You know, it's it's just the graphics and the marketing and the IPs that they own, like Star Wars, like Battlefield, like the names. You know what I mean? That's what gets people to buy the game. And this being a new IP, there are take they are taking a risk. They are taking a risk by this being a new IP. Um, and again, EA's probably gonna fuck it up. They're probably gonna piss a whole bunch of people off, you know? I'm not gonna fucking buy it, I tell you that. But, you know what? I hope I'm wrong. I really do. I, I hope I am 100% wrong. I hope that Anthem comes out and it's incredible. I hope it gets fucking 10 out of 10. I hope it really is a fucking masterpiece, like Red Dead Redemption 2 is supposed to be. Yeah, I really hope this game's gonna be a fucking masterpiece, but... I, man, I doubt it. I really doubt it. I just, I don't, I don't see that happening, you know, but I, I keep my fingers crossed. I mean, if it's dope as fuck, I will go out and buy it, but as it stands right now, hell no. Hell no. You're going to have to pay me to pick up an EA game. You know what I mean? You're going to have to give me money to go to the store and buy an EA game. I'm not going to fucking spend my own money on it. Fuck off. So, you know, that's, those are my thoughts on Anthem. Um... Tell me what you guys think. I mean, there's some people on there that are that are actually, you know, pretty supportive of this game. And there's some people out there that have, uh, they got disillusioned by this game because they had a video where the graphics were, like, kind of shitty for whatever reason. Um, and so people were like, oh, the, the graphics got downgraded again because that's a trend that happens. So, but, but I'm pretty sure they just released something new recently where the graphics were, like, 
top notch again. So, I don't know. But, again, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you guys next time on Darren Unfiltered. Motherfucker. <laughs>